will solve the numerical which is uh, which was asked in exam so simple numerical you just understand the statement and understand what we need to calculate and work accordingly so read i'll read the problem two rods subjected to tensile force of 30 kN so p is equal to 30 kN then connect by means of knuckle joint we are going to uh, solve by knuckle joint thickness of i is 50 mm so thickness of i as per the diagram we know it is thickness of i is nothing but i'll show i'll show i'll show you. ha now see thickness of i this is i section it is having b is width and a e is the width of fork correct so thickness of i they have mentioned b so i'll write b is equal to it is 50 mm thickness of fork e is equal to 25 mm the pin is made up of steel 30 c8 yield strength is given 400 newton per mm square factor of 75 calculate diameter of pin so d is equal to question mark but on the basis of shear on the basis of bending so both the ways we need to calculate the diameter so first of all i'll write step number 1 as i have asked for the shear strength basis shear strength basis so we know the shear failure in the pin is equal to load by area that is pi by 4 d square because of double shear stresses it is 2 so the diameter of the pin is equal to square root of 2 p by pi into tau so i'll write 2 into p is nothing but 30 Into 10 raised to 3 divided by pi into shear stress. So we we'll have to calculate the permissible stress. That is, first one is tensile. I'll we we'll have to calculate that is tensile is equal to S Y T by factor of 70. 400 divided by that is 5. So it is 80 newton per mm square. Actually, this was our first step. so we need to calculate that and shear is 0.5 of syt by a factor of 70 which is equal to uh, i'll directly say 40 newton per mm square half of this so i will have to use here 40 and through which i'll get the diameter which is in mm i'll get 21.85 mm they have mentioned on the basis of shear correct now will say on the basis of step number 2 on the basis of bending strength bending strength so whichever be the ask that we need to calculate only so for the bending i'll write as we know sigma b is equal to 32 by pi d cube into p by 2 In bracket one fourth of B plus one third of A, and through which I am interested in diameter, so I can write D is equal to thirty two pi pi into sigma B into P by two in bracket B by four. I think B is given, so I'll write B by four plus A by three. So one by one I'll write thirty two as it is. pi into sigma b i told you we'll have to take sigma t 80 into p by 2 that is 30 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 2 in bracket b is nothing but they have mentioned 50 a is 25 50 by 4 plus 25 by 3 so by putting all the equations all the values i'll get the diameter 34.14 mm so this will be the diameter we'll have to get by shear as well as a bending correct so whichever they have asked that you need to solve only i hope you understood this try to solve more number of numerical from your side thank you